I just got this tonic craft kit um, and I thought I would share the unboxing with you. So um, last week, two weeks ago, I did one on YouTube. I shared uh, one of the kits that came in the magazine and then um, some of the things that I made and I saw that people were really enjoying taking a peek at the tonic craft kit. So um, it just came to me in the mail like this, which is kind of great. Boom, I kind of like it. And um, it's a nice big box that you know I'm going to reuse, right? Because I have a thing for big boxes. So this is a different craft kit than the last time. Um, I believe that this one is actually um, available for sale right now, just so you know. So what is in this kit? Um, first, I am seeing some really pretty Nouveau glitter glue. And it is actually called what? This is where I can't see through the plastic and I need scissors. <laughs> I know I've reviewed it before. I just don't remember what the official name is. And I don't want to get it wrong because I like want to get it right. So this is glitter accents. So in a really pretty teal. Also, we have the Atlantis Burst. Now, this is a newer product to me. I haven't tested it yet. I can't wait to try it. This is a shimmer powder. And so what you do is you actually um, use just water and uh, either a mister or watercolor paper, and it activates like a color burst or um, the nuance powders, something like that. So um, that's in a pretty kind of a green color. Then also, ooh, exciting. This is a glue pen. I love a glue pen. And this one has kind of a wide chisely tip. So I'll be really interested to try that out. One of the things I love about the Tonic Craft Kits is they include little baby versions of some of my favorite products. So I love Nouveau Crystal Drops. Look at the crystal drops. They're cute little babies. I gotta open them up so you can see them. And it's interesting because we have a green um, powder, we have a teal glitter, and then we have these beautiful warm Nouveau drops. Now, I'm gonna open this up. And I apologize because I have to take a second because you know, I can't find my scissors because they're not on my desk. It is, it's very summery. All right, now we're back. Are you ready? Look how cute they are. Oh. English muffin and ripened pumpkin. Look at those cute little babies. Oh my God. Nuvo, if you're listening, I mean, um, Tonic, please sell the babies. Sell the babies to me. I want them all in a little kit. Ah, oh my God, they're so cute, right? And they even have the little gem on the top. I'm dying. And pumpkin, right? All right. Now, also, I got a new Mr. Bottle, and this may not seem like a very exciting thing, except if you're like me and your misting bottle goes AWOL, it's nice to have a fresh one, and I'm presuming that this is so that you can use your shimmering powders, because you know, you can also mix this stuff with water and then use it as a spray, or you can sprinkle it and then spray it to activate it. There's just different ways to use it. And Dana says it's also great for scaring your cats. <laughs> Okay, oh my gosh. So here's a tool I also don't have, it is the eight millimeter hobby knife. It is a big honkin' box cutting craft knife and it has like the kind of tips that you break off so that it's always got a sharp tip. That is pretty heavy duty. I better hide this. I know my husband's gonna wanna steal that. So also inside the box, are some papers and there's a little thing here and then a little who do you do that tells me what is in it so there are specialty papers leather armchair honey gold roses silky sky okay i'm just gonna show you okay you ready here are our fancy papers for this craft kit now it definitely feels like a beautiful summertime or early autumn palette. So you've got teals, and this is like regular cardstock with kind of a linen-y finish in 
whatever color this was, English mustard, pumpkin, here's that teal, which would coordinate with your drops, pretty, pretty. And then, I don't know if you've tried this paper yet, but this metallic paper, and I've used this a couple times now, really has a beautiful sheen to it. It's not just mirrored paper, but it has like this pearly finish, which is gorgeous. Then, this is actually like a satin metallic paper in teal. Really pretty. And, oh, there's actually two in here. One, this is almost like a tufting, like a fabric tufting, which is beautifully dimensional. Remember, too, that some of these metallic ones that um, have the embossing in it, really feels like it has a cotton content so it feels more like a Japanese washi paper and then the last which feels like a traditional cardstock um, has like a damask print are you catching those like little roses and whatever look at that yeah that this really looks like fabric which is pretty gorgeous so those are your papers and then also in this kit is a little binder and this is called a craft kit ring binder because i heard when you subscribe to the craft kit or you buy them they come with these little folders so your dies are inside so you can keep them organized and then snap them into the binder and i don't know how many you can keep in here but theoretically you could keep at least five or six and then you've got it all right here on your shelf, ready to grab, and you know where your stuff is because, you know, sometimes our studios eat things. I'm just saying. There's that. So, um, I love it that this kit actually came with its own organization. Now, what do we have here? Inside, we have um, a little sticker, cutie patootie. And then we have a couple of rubber stamps. And I'm going to hold them up like this so you can see them. They're kind of on the diagonal. One says, happy birthday to you. And the other is celebrate, congratulations, special day kind of thing. So let me just show that to you, which is nice. It's not too big. You could use it just as a little focal place. Cute patootie. And then we have the dies. And I'm going to show you the dies on, it, it comes on this acrylic background with some double sticky tape. So if you didn't like the double sticky tape, I mean, certainly you can keep it on this, keep it in the folio, or if you like to make magnet sheets, you can stick it into either way. But what I'm seeing is a banner that is open-ended with some stitching. Then we have this alphabet cutout. And from the looks of the, this border, it is not going to cut it out in a frame. It's just going to cut the insides out. So it is like, um, what's that called? Like you get the negative space of the alphabet. And then here's the actual alphabet die. Oops, upside down. And now you can see it. So you can cut this out and actually then use the letters as you want. So there's that. And then on the other side, here is the frame. Remember I said, like, this is going to cut out negative space, but if you layer them together, here's the frame on the inside, I'm guessing also on the outside, so that if you, maybe not, hold on, what does that do? I'm trying to think, oh, 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 I see. So this frame will cut out the outside of the frame die, this is stupid, and then this will cut the outside your alphabet die. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna have to test it out. And then uh, you have another bigger banner and again it's open-ended so you could snip it wherever you wanted to snip it or use it as a flap that goes up and down and it has the stitching on it which is cool. And then there are, oh there's actually three of them. So here's one banner Here's another banner, and then there's one on the third. So there's three different sizes. And then uh, there are a couple of these like little tags. This one says, handcrafted um, with love by, and it's like a little tag that you would punch out and then write your name in. And then this one says, handcrafted by, and it's a little oval with your name in it, and then handmade with love. So 
um, it's kind of like this alphabet frame theme here. So I am going to, um, first I have to tidy up so that I can actually get crafting. But I wanted to share with you what was inside the kit so that when I come back in a couple days, you can see what I made with the kit. Okay, it's time to show you what I made with my kit. Um, and some things I use the paper, other things I use the dye, some I use the other products. So for this one, I actually used the Atlantic Burst um, shimmer powders. And then I also used some of the other colors that I have lying around to get a little bit of a variegation. Um, but these are the shimmer Nouveau Shimmer Powders, which I'm getting ready to review. And then this beautiful foil damask paper. And you can see just how shiny it is and how it's not like super deeply embossed, but I like that because it's a nice, subtle, shiny texture. And then I also used some of those cutie itsy bitsy Nouveau drops on this. This is also um, a tonic um, dye. It's from Tonic Studios. Um, I just really liked it and so I thought I would use it again. And for this one, again, I used the shimmer powders, uh, a different tonic dye that I had in my stash, the birthday, which is, is really nice. I used some of the crystal drops for my little accents. And of course, in the background, here are those shimmer powders again. I really, really, really love them because you can see just how shimmery they are. Do you see like all of these little flecks of almost like a metallic sparkle? This purple is gorgeous. Um, and each shimmer powder has multiple colors in it, which I really, really like. But again, I'll have to do a whole review on that. And then this was, I thought I was feeling kind of clever. This is the die that was open-ended. And what I did is I lined it up over the edge of the platform. So I did a partial cut so I could slide this underneath it and kind of lay that on top and it would you know, not have a seam or a cut line there. Um, and I did that in a couple more too. So this is what I was just talking about where I actually did a partial cut so that it would slide underneath and you can see that here. And then the other ones I just cut on top. These are all the papers that came with the kit. And then the shimmer powder background, which as you can see, I fell in love with and the tonic dye. And then this time, I used the Nouveau um, Glitter Accents product to give me my dimension and make all my little sparkles on there. So for this one, I really just focused on the paper and then that one die. I love these little thin dies with the stitching line. I don't have anything like that in my stash currently, so I'm getting a lot of use out of it. And this time I actually went back and I borrowed the dies from the other kit, which I think is kit number nine. I have a video on that too. And here I used um, the embossing folder. You can see it on the inside, which I think is actually also really pretty to be able to see the embossing on the inside too. And then the pretty damask paper. And then these metallic papers came from last month's kit. And these dies came from last month's kit. So I kind of did a little mashup of this paper and die and then last month's embossing folders and dies. Um, and I think this is actually a really, really striking card. I think you could also just as easily make this a birthday sentiment or an anniversary sentiment. Um, I think it has a lot of legs and it's just, again, very, very yeah. classic. Sometimes we make cards that we don't love guys. And the, I didn't, I don't love it. <laughs> I tried, I, I went too far. So I just want to show you that, you know, you don't have to do it like this, but I did use the small stamp three times in three colors. I like that. Then I did inlaid die cutting with the Celebrate, and I like that. And then I went and I tried to emboss the whole thing, and that's where I went too far. I mean, it's not the worst, but yeah, it's too much, so don't emboss it. But use that cool stamp three times on one card front. And for this, I used a trio of Nouveau Hybrid inks, which stamped very nicely. And I like the metallic paper, but yeah, just don't emboss the top. And then this one, I actually used the frame, the alphabet frame and the alphabet letters to create the outside frame and the congrats. Again, the shimmer powders are on the inside. The What I'm missing for this card, and it's on its way, is I'm, uh, I ordered a die that looks like a little graduation cap. And I thought this would make a really great graduation card with the congrats and then a little mortar board here. And then just kind of like alluding to um, you know, education with the alphabet frame on the outside. As you can see, I placed each one of these letters individually. Remember, they cut out in a group 
like this, and then you just punch out the ones that you need um, and glue them on. And um, yeah, I think it's really, really kind of cool. And I like the fact that the alphabet isn't super matchy matchy. It's a little mixy matchy. There's some more traditional, like here's a capital H and then here's one that has like a little swirl on the bottom. It just gives you a more of a whimsical feel and I really, really like that. So there you go. Here are the things that I made with the Tonic Craft Kit subscription. You can also buy them sometimes as a one-off. Um, I love the color. I love the value that you get in the, in the kit itself. Um, and I love getting little products and extra products that maybe I wouldn't buy or I wouldn't know what to do with. So I hope you liked it. If you're interested, please look in the link in descriptions for how to buy it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and have a crafty day.